welcome to the It's All About to Go South panel. And please give a warm welcome to our moderator, Anthony Allen Ramos, Vice President of Communications and Talent, GLAAD, and it's Bravo Superfan. What do you think of this look? You like it? Uh, listen, this is so exciting. How freaking good is Southern Charm this season? Where are my Craig fans? Craig fans? Olivia fans? Patricia fans? Woo! Uh, well, let's get to it. This is gonna be a party, this is gonna be a kiki. So the moment you've been waiting for, let's bring out the amazing cast of Southern Charm. Let's start with Austin, Craig, Madison, Leva, what's up? Taylor. There we go, there we go. Looking gorgeous. Olivia. You're welcome. Vanita. Look at that outfit, come on, come on. Rodrigo. You're welcome. Then let's bring some, some new folks out. We've got JT and Rod. And last, hi. <laughs> Who's up next? So, we're waiting on, uh, oh look at that, right there. Chef, you are such a gentleman. You are such a gentleman. Look at Patricia. Come on. All right. Take your spots right over there. You are safe. Yeah, you're next to Olivia, yep. Patricia? Oh, uh, first off, Craig, thank you for the jacket, everyone. We like this jacket. Yes. Wow. Oh, it's a little hot, isn't it? A little hot, a little hot, a little hot. Thank you so much. Premium polar bear. Uh, well, well, welcome, Southern Charm. This is gonna be fun. Like I said, this season is out of control from the first minute of episode one, I was like, this is gonna be one for the books. I gotta start with Olivia. I just gotta say, you're my MVP of the season. I, Olivia, come on, let's give it for Olivia, everyone. I gotta, let's start with you. Um, let's just get to it because these people wanna know everything. What is up with the bra? Just clear the air on that. Had I known it was gonna have such a statement on the episode, I would have picked something cuter, but I just was getting comfortable. I, like, I, I don't know, I regret it. Bonehead move. That's but. okay, it's all good, it's all good. Um, Austin, yes, sir. how you doing over there? I'm good. Well, My voice is gone, because I've been hanging out with everyone all weekend, but it's Vegas. wonderful. It's wonderful. Can we have some round of applause for Austin too? Come on, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So Austin, let's 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 get to it. Um, why don't you clear up any misconceptions that you would like to clear up? That's so funny because that's much what time Andy. Do we have? That's yeah. That's what Andy asked me on Watch What Happens Live the very first question. What a broad stroke question, and it's not going to be here. It'll, it'll be at our reunion when we really do hash it out. Sorry, sorry, but I mean, unless you ask me a specific question. Oh, I will. Okay, don't good. Don't worry. Um, good. The reunion also must be like a 95 part reunion because there's so much to unpack. Let's hope so. Um, Madison, I'm gonna come to you next. You're, okay. I mean. Also, can we have like a little shout out to Madison's hot husband? Yes. Woo! You are very lucky and he's very lucky to have you. Um, but okay, a lot of us, a lot of the fans think that, you know, with everything that's going on that maybe Shep and Olivia should give it a try. What is your reaction to that? I already told him that. You, you like that? I told him, I was like, just start making out with Olivia. And he goes, I wouldn't say no. Um, what about... What I don't say no often. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually tread in the area. I mean, it's, a, it's a long walk across the street. No. 
I mean, I, there is so much going on here. Taylor, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Round of applause for Taylor. Yes. Listen, you, so much is going on. How are you navigating all of this unfolding? It's deep, it's personal, it's drama, but it's your life. I, I'm navigating it well. I have a great friend group and family behind my back. So, and, and everybody's been great checking in on each other. So we're holding up. <laughs> See? Thank you guys, truly. Now, Patricia, you, yeah. The queen, Patricia. Legend. I mean, I love you, you know, they love you. What's your take? I mean, listen, you've been doing this a long time and this season is one for the books. What's your take on all of this? I'm bored. <laughs> what would make you excited? There's not enough drama and action and cohabitation to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> While I have you, can we get an update on Michael? Because I know it was so wonderful to see him this season, you know, via Zoom or Skype. And, you know, it was so sweet. And we love to, you know, see the two of you together in any way. Well, unfortunately, his condition is such that it will never change. You know, it's static. He has had a spinal stroke, which is very rare. I think less than 1% of all strokes are that. And uh, he is with his family in Sarasota, Florida. And uh, he has to have nursing care, so he's in a facility. But he has learned how to drive manually. And so, he's, he, you know, he gets out and about. We talk all the time. He watches all the shows. He is still a snarky and fun yeah. and has a great attitude, so... Uh, I don't think that people realize just fabulous. how snarky what that does, Michael is. What does Michael think about this season? Yeah, is so he far? watching? Is Michael watching the season? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He might get mad at me if I said all the snarky things that he has said. <laughs> That'll be for uh, part Michael. two of this or the reunion, maybe. Um, I want to come over to some of the new folks over here. Rodrigo, I got to tell you, yes, yes. I was so happy that we finally had a gay charmer. Part of this cast. Yeah, baby. Come on. Uh, and also, you're in a relationship. You're happy. What did it mean for you to be a part of this wild and crazy group? You know, being friends with everyone for so long, and, you know, everyone knows Tyler, and... Uh, kind of like flustered, I don't even know what to say. No, it's okay. Um, you know, just having, you know, support of all my friends and everyone was there for both of us and I, I think people want more of Tyler than me. Yeah. So, I mean, he's uh, a lot more endearing than I am. I'm just, <laughs> ju I'm just the bitchy one. Ah, I love it. We love Listen, you too. Listen, we have LGBTQ representation, we have Latin representation, so look, it's great. We love to see it. Round of applause for that. Love that, love that, love that. Uh, Shep. The question I've been waiting to ask you, how is Lil Craig? Oh, he's with his grandparents. Okay. <laughs> and I got him surgery so he could breathe better, but now he has to go to a dog optometrist, according to my veterinarian. It, it, this guy's going to financially uh, sink me, but I... I <laughs> he's worth every penny, right? Come on. I love, it. On. I love, I love it. that. I, would, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so happy he's doing well. Now let's go to this Craig. Uh, like Craig. How much do we love Craig and Paige? <laughs> Woo! By the way, Paige's outfits, this BravoCon, out of control. Amazing. It, there was a lot of work and thought that went into him, and I, I think she pulled him off. Did anyone see Paige this week? Come on, good. Paige, yes. Um, and she dressed us, by the way. She did dress me in Austin. Wait, Austin, that outfit, it looks familiar. No? Lizzie McGuire, you outfit repeater. <laughs> That's definitely me today. I love that. It looks good. It's I worth wearing to. twice. Uh, but, Craig, I think, you know, nine seasons in, it's so nice to see you so happy in a playing house, you know, doing all the things with Paige. How different is this experience now that you have someone that is the one that's serious and you're, you know, you're not looking for uh, love anymore? I, th I think that's a great part of a show like ours is we do have almost a decade of film on a lot of us and 
And you get to watch the roller coaster of life, and you know you get to see that mid twenties breakup that everyone has, that you think it's the end of the world, um, and then you get to see that you come out of that, and you get to see people struggle with careers, and you know have to move back home for a little bit, and all of a sudden you find out that you really love pillows, and so does everyone else, <laughs> and uh, you know the the dark times were tough to film but it's fun that we have it now so we can share the light with everyone. So it's great having a supportive partner and uh, I, I wish that for everyone. I mean, that mid-season trailer is pretty dramatic for the two of you. I mean, you're like ready to be a, a husband, a dad. What's, what's the latest there? She seemed to be not quite there yet. I, I just, you know, I'm a romantic at heart. I love yep. rom-coms. Uh, the problem was I didn't really have anything to base relationships off of other than rom-coms. <laughs> so you don't just start dating and then get engaged and get married. Um, we, you know, we've only been dating for a little over two years, and I think we took our foot off the gas. We stopped letting outside pressure get to us and just be like, you know what? What works for us works for us. Um, yeah. You know, not to be shady, but we see a lot of relationships on Bravo not work out. And... We don't want to be like them. Wait, like, like whose? Oh, <laughs> no, not on our show. Sorry. I, not, not, Just in general. Yes, in, in general. Gen yeah. I, I, actually, I wasn't talking about our show. Um, so we're just trying to do it our way. And uh, I think we know exactly who you were talking about. <laughs> and I just, you know, I hope to propose one day. Uh, she actually mentioned get, eloping here because of both of our families were at BravoCon. Well, I want to talk about the families. So, you know, I think of her as the ultimate New Yorker. Like, have the families met? Are they best friends at this point? Or what's that like? Yeah, they met at BravoCon 2023 in yes. Las Vegas. I love um, that. And, Weekend and isn't know. over yet. I know. We still got another night. I know. I know. I, I got All nervous when tonight. she said that, which is funny. So, um, but we're good. And we'll see what happens. And what's, uh, what's neat is we get to share it with everyone here. So. Okay. Leva, my girl, I gotta come to you. I feel like you are often, yeah, Leva! I mean, such a boss, doing all the things. But I also think you're kind of, the, the, you have so much wisdom when it comes to this group. So please tell me, what is your take on the current situation of everything that's happening between Austin, Taylor, Olivia, Shep? It's a lot, but I know you find a way to be cool with everyone. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, the relationships are continually going to change. And I think all our relationships have seasons. You've seen some of us who are really close, you know, go head to head. And you've seen some of, some of like, I, I, I genuinely think that we'll recover, mm -hmm. but it won't be the same as it was before. I think some things will recover differently, just like when you have a cut and you heal, mm -hmm. you still have a bit of a scar. But we'll get through it. We always do. That's right. Vanita, let's have a round of applause for the style that Vanita brings every, every time. This look, I mean, can we get a little, a little look? I mean, look at that. Yes. Gorge. It's a little disco. It's a little Vegas. I love it. Um, also, I love so much how you are bringing, you know, diversity and inclusion to this cast. But you also, how are you navigating this? Because we saw... When it comes to Taylor, Olivia, Shep, Austin, it can be tricky, and you are trying to do the best you can. Uh, you know, it was hard because for this new season, like for Taylor and I, this was our season to get to know each other, and that's what I was hit with. So, and Olivia and I had already been working behind the scenes to make sure that we were creating a great friendship, so I kind of just leaned where my heart lied, and it was with her. So hopefully I can change that, but right now this is where I am. Okay, all right. I have hope. Uh, JT. By the way, for the record, JT is not as short as they say he is. Compared to us. I know. Uh, screwed. I feel short like him. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Incredible. Um, listen, you've made it very clear that you think Taylor is kind of the ultimate unicorn when it comes to ladies in Charleston. What is it about Taylor that you, you know... And there's something going on in Jamaica. Did you all see that? There's a drink being transferred by mouth. I don't know what that's all about, but... It's called baby birding. Baby birding. Okay, see? I thought it was called bird feeding. Bird I thought it was feeding. called being disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we all have our own name for it. I've never JT, done it, by back the way. To you. I mean, you know. Thank you, Anthony. You're as, welcome. I think as a, as a freshman uh, in the new class, just want to... It's just an honor to be on the stage before I answer the question. And you gotta be humble and be respectful. And to all the fans that have spent all their hard-earned money coming here, all the fans at home and the ones that came, thank you. 
And also to uh, the stars on this cast, Miss Patricia, first and foremost with you, and Shep, and Craig. Um, honestly, it's just, I can't even believe I'm on the stage with my homie and, and all you guys. So thank you for letting me be here, and thank you guys for all coming. Now, to answer your question. I'm answer like, but what about question. Taylor? Like, Why what? do you love Taylor? <laughs> thank you, yes. <laughs> I'm just a sorry people. Shep really wants to hear the answer, what is, so. What is there, I mean, regardless of, of this season, I mean, Taylor is one of the most amazing women at heart. Um, loves the Lord, loves her family. People make mistakes, and um, I've known her for a while, and um, yeah, she's, she's gonna get through this, and everybody loves, and America loves a comeback story. So I'm rooting for Taylor, I love Taylor, and that's never gonna change. Thank you, Jake. Taylor, what's it like for you to hear that? I, I mean, I, I've, I've always had a love and adoration for JT. We've, we have, we bonded, we went to Europe and had a great time, and he's, he's anytime that JT's around, there's gonna be laughter, so if you guys haven't had the chance to experience that, you will, like, there's always laughter. I mean, he was riding his security guards back through the crowds, like, only JT can do that. <laughs> and Prince, Prince does that also. Yes. And Prince also did yeah. that. Uh, Last but not least, Rod. I mean, come on, Rod. Yeah. I think you uh, just exude Southern gentleman vibes. Love to see it. I mean, you, we know, we saw you kind of go on a couple dates with Olivia and be very open with your thoughts on bro code and the situation with Austin and Chef. How did you navigate all of this? Because it's like I said, it's tricky. Even talking about it, I'm like, it's a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm being honest, I think uh, I give myself kind of a free pass just because I told Austin, and I'm like, well, I told him, so it's cool, right? So, um, I don't know, I'm an over-communicator, and um, it just makes everything easier to just be open with everyone, and um, I don't know, sometimes I probably just think I'm in the clear because I told someone, but I, it's also not We're in the legit. clear. <laughs> I think we were in the clear, though. <laughs> yeah, I love when he, he leaned in for that kiss on the park bench. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It was a hot kiss. I was, yeah, like, yes. I was like, wow. I mean, wow. well, we got to know. What, so Wait, it was? That wasn't our first kiss. I want to be very <laughs> oh, clear. That, that was the first, first kiss. She initiated no. our first kiss. Oh, that was the I first kiss. That was about that. not our first kiss. I, it looked like I it was your first few, kiss. Just saying. It was our first. I've had a few, like, drunken bar nights where I found him. and. Whoa. Wait, that that kiss looked like baby bird. <laughs> so we got to know, is there any future for Olivia and Rod? I know they want to know. I want to know. I never say never. And Rod is, like you said, just like exudes Southern gentlemen. And it was such a breath of fresh air. And I, I mean, I don't know. Weirder things have happened with this cast. So. No, I'm good. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The shame. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. my goodness. She's a catch. She's a catch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? People, we have a treat. There is a new episode coming this Thursday night on Bravo, as we know, and I'm gonna show you a clip right now. It is not gonna disappoint. Craig, I have a lot of questions for why, you after why this. Why do you guys do this to us? So let's roll that beautiful that. footage. Are we gonna make our aluminum helmets and talk to aliens tonight? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Do you know what we're doing, Libby and Taylor? We are making tinfoil hats, and Craig is going to tell us all his conspiracy theories. Craig, I know that you believe in aliens. Don't get him started, Taylor. He's going to. The government can hear us. We don't have our hats on. They can oh, hear God, us. you just poked the bear. I can't believe he thinks that pandas are humans. Do you think panda bears are real? I really wanted them to be real. Pandas are real, dude. <laughs> If we have tinfoil hats on, they can't hear us, and they have no idea that they what can't we're... penetrate we don't want to be brain. targeted. Yeah. Exactly. Tinfoil hats? If you happen to ask what a tinfoil hat is for, you're not ready to know what it's for. Ah. Aliens don't really respect bear heads. They call them bear heads, or what you call people without a tinfoil hat. If they see your hat, they're like, these people are ready for the reckoning. I'm just here to guide you all. This is the dumbest thing we might have ever done. I really like it. Wow, you really did a good job yeah. with the crown. That's amazing. She's like king moron. <laughs> Come on, Craig, we're going in the yard. Yeah. We're going to be safe there now. We're making a mockery of it. <laughs> yeah, round of applause. I mean, listen. Like I said, this show, no short of drama. It is fun to see that, but Craig, you I mean, ultimate conspiracy theorist, what is happening? Now you said pandas aren't real, they're people in clothes. I mean, I don't even know. 
What is going on? We should have provided enough tinfoil for everyone here so I could educate everyone. Um, or they'd be listening. Hey, you know, this was a really intense season, and it does get even more intense and crazy, and it was really fun to have, you know, a light, I mean, I was serious about it, but a lighthearted moment for everyone else. Uh, seeing little Craig with the tinfoil oh. is fantastic. Um, you know, that, that trip is a lot of people are confronting each other for the first time and trying to work through a lot of crazy, heavy stuff. And I'm glad we could have that moment. The problem is, is when things get a little less civilized and the fights start to happen, everyone's still in their hats. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's pretty funny to watch, but my mother hey, by called the way, me. My mother called me and was like, Tell me that Craig doesn't actually think that pandas don't exist. I was like, Oh my god! I think that he no. That's the that tip one. of the iceberg. I, like yeah, we, we didn't even really iceberg. get into all Craig's conspiracies. Yes. Like that, that one actually, I saw Paige just in an interview, and she was like, Craig actually got that one from me. So um, oh the conversations that we all have deserve each other. Yeah. We, um, well, we listen, listen. TikTok is a heck of a place. We need some wacky fun to balance it out. Um, but Taylor, I want to come back to you. Because one moment this season that, of course, I think many of us reacted to was seeing Austin kind of, you know, open up to Shep and say, look, this is what happened. And you said it was kind of blindsiding for you because that wasn't part of the deal. What was it? Wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, I, I can I mean, I'm sit here and laugh, but I try to laugh everything off at this point. But um no, I mean, I, I really wish that uh, we had, had, I wanted to come out with the truth from the very get-go, and it wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't the case, and he's sitting there going, I'm feeling liberated. I was like, well, I'm glad you feel liberated, because I feel like a piece of poop. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, but um, hopefully, you know, everything just comes out in the wash here and there. Austin, and if I see you. Paul. I mean, I, I <clears throat> you know, once again, we're not really supposed to be getting into this, but I would love to, I mean, you had a decision earlier in the night. I, I can't tell you what to do. I wasn't there. I didn't have a gun to your head. I mean. My friend came to come me. Come on, people. We're here in Vegas. Me, There's no booing. There's no booing. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Just that lie note, to Shep's face? Was I, I supposed to lie to Shep? Was I supposed to lie to him? Again. It would have eventually come out regardless. Right. So I'm supposed to lie to him, go and talk to Taylor, and then come back. That's it was a decision. Told, that's what you told Taylor to do. You know what? It's all right. Taylor and I, it's Olivia. Not, it, it was eventually going to come out in the end regardless, no matter what. I know. No. No. I did not, Taylor. You and I did not, you know, I didn't sit there and say, do not say anything. Like, we both were like, Let's just like let this thing, you know, go away. That is what we said. Ladies, you know ladies. <laughs> wait, 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 I cannot wait for the reunion. The I cannot wait for the reunion. So bad. I cannot wait. I mean, one thing is the reunion so is so much be to clear up. Something to watch for sure. Yeah, so much to clear up. Uh, Olivia, I want to come back over to you. I heard you were saying things and I apologize I couldn't hear you. What was what was it you wanted to say just now regarding hearing about that? I was just referring, he was saying, what was I supposed to do? Lie to Shep and then come back. And I said, well, you told Taylor to lie to me. So I was just making that comparison. I didn't tell Taylor to do anything. I didn't tell Taylor to do anything. Y'all made the agreement not to tell me. Is that a lie? And then yes. you looked the at her. The answer is yes. And then the you looked at yes. her. Shut up. We're just going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait. I mean, listen, the drama is real. But guess what? We know that there's another show that just dropped the trailer. It is called Southern Hospitality, and we get to see Leva be the boss. And it's time to welcome a few more familiar faces from down south. I want to welcome the cast of Southern Hospitality. Let's bring out Maddie, Grace, Bradley, and then Joe Bradley. I mean, look at these gorgeous people. Beautiful, sexy, amazing. Yes. There we go, there we go. Bring in the style. Hello. There you go. Hi, Bravo Con. I know we can do better than that, y'all. Make some noise for us up here. Let's I go. Mean, have y'all seen the trailer? It's, it's incredible. Okay, let's, ladies, I'm gonna come to you. 
because, okay, I saw this trailer, I was with Leva, and I was like, how did this show become like Vanderpump level insanity? It's, <laughs> it, it, it's amazing, I mean, I was like, this is, I'm in, but how did it, you know? It was cutthroat, that? it was cutthroat for sure. We've been friends for years. We all know one another, it's, it's crazy. It was how bound to happen. Are. And it's a small town, so. Well, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's really small. Uh, gents, I'm gonna talk to you in a second, but guess what, people? We have another sneak peek. December 7th, the new season starts, of course, on Bravo. Betrayals, workplace drama, like I said, Leva as a boss, which I love, but let's roll that clip of uh, the new season of Southern Hospitality. Who is behind that bar? Oh, hi. Why do you guys look emo? I'm upset. I'm upset. About what? Something the hypocrisy that you are showing the as a boss. hypocrisy? What are you doing here? You have employed, have drank here so okay. many times. Who did I keep in here that's guzzling my alcohol back there? Mm. Who did I keep in here who is drinking back there? Mm. What the <laughs> f are you talking about? You're not gonna f with me. No, no, you're not. My eyes are on you. I mean, did he leave out the part that he was like making out with her and like trying to grind on her? I thought you understood that. You should be with someone you trust. Your call has been. What the? F Your call has been forwarded to an audit. What the f Trevor? Oh sh Oh my goodness! I mean, that looks so good. Leva, I mean, what in the world is happening? Have you lost control of your employees? Or, I mean, they are highly entertaining, but there's a lot going on there. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm glad the cameras were rolling, because they know there's always something going on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but yeah, this season is like, I feel like the first episode's like a finale. I mean, I mean, look at the tune in. Yeah, seven, producers seven. sat me down. They were like, how do we keep doing this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you two look uh, very handsome and dapper up there, by thank the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, let's just have fun. I mean, we saw all that drama unfolding. Let's talk about who's single and who's not, because we are in Sin City. It is Vegas. We've been here for three or four days at this point. Who's single? Raise your hand. I'm single. I'm very, I'm very single. Living my here. best life. I think we're all um, sure every day and all day, baby. Yeah, I think we're all single, but um, the only person that we never really know about is Maddie. So it's always um, a little complicated with her, but it's true. Yeah. Hey, complicated is good. Um, Leva, what is your reaction to seeing that trailer? Because, like I said, you and I got to see it together, and we were like, this is literally insane. Yeah. Um, it was. I can't. You know, I try to stay out of their stuff. Um, somehow it ends up in like a text or a DM or I catch a piece of camera footage because I have 17 million, as you can see. I love the security footage, the moment <laughs> of you with that. I'm like, not the security footage. <laughs> yeah, um, but there was a lot I didn't know. So obviously I was watching it almost like you guys were, and I was like, oh, Lord, could y'all get it together? But no, you know, it's, it's, it's good. They're young. It's okay. It's okay, guys. I feel like I'm always <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> Well, I always say, as long as they keep it outside of Republic, I don't care. All right. But all they right. Are, don't always do that. No. It's hard. Who would you say, Leva, brings the most drama in season two? Because like I said, it's Vanderpump level insanity is what I've been saying. I don't know. These little f***ers all together. Ah! They just, they have this chemistry where it's so chaotic. I mean, I feel like Maddie doesn't mean to, but it comes to her. Sorry, Maddie. That's true, too. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I would say, like, me and Maddie are both managers, but somehow, even when we don't try to start any of it, it always just comes right to us. Yeah, it get, we get looped into it, always. We, tr yeah. we try to, like, de-escalate it and be Switzerland, but sometimes when you're Switzerland too much, it can uh, bite you in the ass. So. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm here for it. Can't wait for season two. Um, we're going to have some time for audience questions in just a second, but, um, Olivia, I want to come back to you. It was... Very sad to watch you have to go through losing your brother on this show, but I know it's putting all of the drama aside that we just went through, 
I know your friend group that is all here did come and rally around you and support you, and I know you felt the love. So tell me a bit how important... Oh, that was definitely one of the positives out of the season is I got to explore new friendships and that's really where people stepped up for me regardless of what was going on and that's, um, that's what a true friendship is. Like regardless of the circumstance, you show up for that person and I really felt that from some and um, I'm very, very appreciative and as well as the fans, I've been overwhelmed with all the people that have reached out and, and just shared their stories. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Taylor, how, I know you've also gone through personal loss, and unfortunately it's something that a lot of you can share. How are you doing? And then I promise I'm going to come to the audience. I know you have some burning questions, but I don't want to you know, not, not also acknowledge that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty surreal. Um, Olivia is one of the first people to knock on my door and sit in bed with me and cry. So we've been able to kind of put things aside and um, what's really real and going on in, in our lives. So. Everybody's been great. Everybody stepped up, just as, <laughs> as they did. That's really, really important. That's what it's about. Round of applause for, uh, for this. Thank you all for being so open and honest. But I know the audience is ready. Look at that red outfit. I'm so excited. What is your question? It's Sarah Sass from Petaluma, California. And I want to first thank Bravo and everyone for adding um, diversity and different backgrounds to the cast. It's worked out well. It's saved Southern charm. It's why we still watch. But um, more seriously, Austin, um, watching back that um, scene with Rod, where as a fellow over communicator, he was being direct with you and sharing with you. And as Olivia was a very single woman, um, it felt a little slut shamey when you mentioned that you saw her making out with another person while she was fully single. And it felt very cringe and not very 2023. I just want to hear a comment on that. Or if you maybe have an apology or have something to say about that now. Yeah, I, I, I never meant it to come across that way. And I would never, I would never intend to slut shame you, Olivia. That was not my intention whatsoever. I thought that I was kind of in the moment just being like, hey, Rod, she's seeing someone else. I didn't mean for it to be that way. And I guess that's tone deaf on my part. And, and, and that's my bad. Do that. Justice for pandas. Bye. All right, we've got another audience member with a question ready. And what is your Thank question? You. What's your name? Hi, I'm Maria. I'm from Bethesda, Maryland. Day one watcher. Um, my husband actually just did his bachelor party in Charleston last year, and I was really nervous after watching you guys party down there for many years. <laughs> but all went well. Um, so my question is for all of you. Uh, Catherine Dennis has been in the news uh, recently. So two-part question. Has she spoken to you about any of the things that have happened to her recently? And do you ever see her potentially coming back to the cast? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we, um, Catherine was 21 when, when, when this show Maybe. started. I mean, we, and, and by the way, I was what, 33? Craig, how old were you when this show started? 24. We have, we have grown up Let's in front talk of you about guys, age, you please. Know, and, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, age would be a thing. <laughs> so we, but we've all come a long way and you've seen the bumps and bruises and all that stuff. And unfortunately, you know, Catherine stumbles sometimes, but we, we do love her because there's a person right inside her that, that we, we know is a good person. All right, all right. another lovely red outfit. Sorry about that. I'll go back to you. What's your name? What's your question? Hi, I'm Sarah from San Diego. And first of all, I want to tell you all, I've been watching you since day one and you have helped me through a really hard time. So I love all of you. Um, Madison, specifically, I admire you so much. Thank oh you for God. saying that you're a retired slut because I'm trying to be one. <laughs> <laughs> um, no um, shame in the act of sluts out there. Okay? Someone exactly. handed yes. hand me that bracelet yesterday. We love them all. Yesterday. We love them all. Um, anyways, my question for you is, as a fellow boy mama, what's your favorite part about being a mom? Oh, my gosh. And I know Patricia. I mean, I learn from her every day. But uh, the friendship that I have with my son is something that is unmatched and that's what I cherish the most. And I hope to have many more children to come. So hopefully y'all get to see that. Not yeah. right now, but um, yeah, it's the best part about it. I just want to say, and we're going to get to the audience again, but like that was such a special moment to see when your son was having a conflict with someone, to see your husband step up and yeah. you'd also be such a great mom. You know, it's not, yeah. By the way, I went to that mama's house, just so y'all know. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll, we'll find out more about that. But of course, I'm coming back to this side of the audience. Who, what is your name and what is your question? Hi, uh, my name is Michelle from the great city of Orlando. <laughs> Get nice and close to that mic because look oh, how sorry, fabulous sorry, your sorry. hair is. Yes, yes, yes. First of all, it would be remiss of me not to say I love Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper because I am wearing them on my chest. AC, yep. And Patricia, you're the reason I'm here. Love you. Anyways, <laughs> so I've been watching Southern Charm for all of nine weeks <laughs> from the beginning. Um, A nine week binge of <laughs> nine seasons? Is that what you said? It's true, wow. it's true, wow. it's true. Um, and Inquiring Minds would like to know, Shep, did you hook up with Gigi this weekend? Oh and to my. define hookups, you know to define hookups. I am sorry. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, we well, are in that Vegas is right I, now. I can answer that. Okay. No. No. There you go. Define but hookups. it wasn't from a lack of trying, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, Shep and I flew in on the same airplane. And I can't tell you how many women were passing him their numbers on the airplane. You're very charming. And then a bra, somebody, somebody threw a bra on my head and it had her number in it. Did you call her? It was 34C, man. <laughs> 34C. Awesome. No. How chic. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is your name? I love your outfit. And what is your question? My name's Amanda. This is directed towards Olivia. I think I speak for many of the people in this room and just wanting to first thank you for being graceful and kind, being a great representative of girls being friends even through hard times and chaos. Thank you. Thank you so much. That being said, and no shade, just wanting the most fun and you living, how was hanging out with Sandoval last night? I knew, I knew that question was going to come around. I left, uh, we went to Paige's birthday party and just happened to leave at the same time. And I remember walking through the casino and I heard like, that's Olivia and Sandoval. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Olivia and Sandoval, but we just left at the same time. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm big Ariana fan, big fan of the cast. So I, uh, yeah, no. There's the answer right there. That's the answer. That's the answer. Uh, let's go back to this side. What is your name? What is your question? Hi, my name's Kate. I'm from Chicago. My question is, woo, is for <laughs> Leva and Madison. Um, as a mom, how do you balance the time that you set aside for yourself, but also making sure you're there for your kids without feeling that mom guilt and making sure you're thriving for your children? Uh, well, first? I have mom guilt right now because my son turned 11 yesterday Aww. and Happy birthday. I was here. So I was a little upset, but you know what? He said, mom, he's like, you go have fun. And I know we're going to make up for it later. And I do this so I can spoil him and we live a great life. So thank you guys for supporting me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think one thing for moms is like when you are momming be really present mm -hmm. put your phone down and so for me it's like I really soak up that time I do have with him and um, I make a lot of social concessions you know like I don't get to go out as much and do a lot of that stuff because I do want to spend it with my son but just like Madison said I had a ton of mom guilt just being here but um, one of the girls that works for me, my son had FaceTimed and I had like actually the most epic mom moment I've ever had and I think I will cry about it, but my son saw me on the step and repeat and he said to my assistant like, that's mommy, look at mommy. And like, I've never, ha I didn't, I've never had that moment where he gets to see me working, like really and it looked cool to him and that was very validating, you know. You guys are me. great moms. Yes, both of your kids should be so proud to have you. Um, we've got time for two more questions. It looks like we've got a fabulous duo over there in some bedazzled shirts. What are your names and what's your question? Hi, I'm Sarah from Dana Point. This is my beautiful niece, Christina. And we both love the show. We think it's great. So it appeals to two different generations. First, we just wanted to say thank you for entertaining us. And we also wanted to ask Patricia, you obviously have a fantastic picker. You've been, uh, you've married very well and you're lovely. Um, what kind of advice do you have for young women like my niece and also young women on your cast on how to find someone who's really interested, quality, interested in getting married, not just interested in playing in the game? 
I see some guys on that stage. One of them is a walking, breathing cliche. And the oh, other uh, and the, the other one's so copying we started him. Out so good. <laughs> then what happened? So uh, Patricia, I guess what is your advice to finding lasting love and finding a true gentleman is what I'm gonna well, make that question. If I were in my twenties or thirties and I love all the guys on the show. I absolutely adore them. Uh, but I would never have chosen them to date when I was 20 or 30 years old. <laughs> Rightfully so. And, uh, I think that young women today make themselves too accessible. Uh, they should be concerned with establishing a career. They should focus on their education. <laughs> They should have lives that make them interesting. They should be informed about what's going on in the world and mm -hmm. have opinions and be involved in activities that enhance them, enhance their social standing. And that is how you attract a man who is, what shall we say? On your level. A charmer. <laughs> Valuable. I want to, we are running out of time, but I promise we have one last question. Let's go over here. What is your name and what is your question? Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, all right. Um, I love all of you. I've been lucky enough to meet a few of you. Um, you are so warm and kind, and it goes a long way. We all really appreciate it. Um, my question, though, is are any of you just wildly overwhelmed with this whole experience, this seems very intense. JT, you got your mic up, what, what's your? Yes, I've, <laughs> luckily my love language is affirmation, so this is like utopia, but it's been overwhelming, and um, thank you guys all so much. And, Vanita, do you wanna have any closing thoughts? Because I didn't get as much time, I wanna talk about everything with you, but. That's okay, you know, I think that it's been overwhelming in the best way for us, because we get a chance to greet all of our fans and supporters, so yes, it's overwhelming, but we appreciate it more than you realize. Yes, we love you, Vanita, we love all of you. Listen, I genuinely love all of you, I know it's so much, I so appreciate you being good sports, and listen, we're gonna see how it all unfolds. The season is just beginning. Thursday nights at 9 on Bravo, of course, Southern Charm. And then do not forget that Southern Hospitality is back for season two. December 7th, I see you all rushing up. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, BravoCon, and uh, thank you all. Yeah, Jake from State Farm. You know it's really scary. Popcorn with no butter. No, getting insurance. I mean, what if the jargon makes me feel alone and in the dark? Hey, at State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. <laughs> Sorry. Is that seat taken? Get on up here, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Most water? Yeah, for my cup of ale. I saw. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today.